So this is the Model 3 by Tesla and I'm testing it for Emers, the website, the Dutch website. And I just wanted to give you guys a look. The most important thing is of course the inside and I like the inside. It's, it, it, is, it has a great interior. I, I saw some videos and the people were complaining about that it wasn't that fancy enough. I think it's really fancy and I saw some other cars more expensive and less fancy in the inside. So to just give you an idea about the interior, um, it finishing almost looks like the i3 by uh, BMW. Uh, I don't know if it's really wood, but it had, has a kind of wood look to it. But the rest of the finishing is, you know, this nice leather kind of stuff. Probably not real leather, but I don't care. It looks very fancy. Uh, you have some spot where you can put your charge your phones. Of course, we have the display in the middle, the big display. It's almost like a large tablet and uh, with all the controls, but later on that. Uh, nice finishing on the chairs and also in the back. Nice leather finishing. Oh, and this is all glass. The most important functions are all underneath. So in the middle is like the temperature, how the, the airflow is done. You can even control that with your fingers and you can really control the airflow very good. You have Spotify in here, Spotify Premium. It's uh, included with the car. And, uh, but there's also radio and uh, tune in or directly the stuff you have on your phone. But the most important stuff for your car is of course here in the beginning and then you get this menu. This part I like the most. It's um, setting for the driving. Here you can really decide if you want to have it very aggressive and that's not in a in a negative way but if, if you want to have a very direct response if you press the the gas pedal it really responds really quick um, and this is more smooth I like the more smooth setting um, but together with the steering wheel uh, in standard mode that's more like uh, this is direct and this is more like that you have more aid, steering wheel aid, uh, that it's more easy to use. Regenerative braking, uh, if you put it on standard, it's almost like you're really pressing the brake. Um, if you have it on low, you can just roll out more smooth, but it works less in creating energy. Uh, here have, we have some extra surface functions and most importantly, the glove box. Yeah, you can't open it without this display. And here we have some Easter eggs functions. Um, I don't know, this, this, this farting stuff. Um, I don't know who came up with this. If you want to play some games, you can play the old asteroids here and uh, with all the old noises. It's quite nice if you have some time left and waiting for something, maybe while you're waiting for, uh, for it to charge. And otherwise, if you want to have some nice atmosphere, you can have, <laughs> the fun thing is, yeah, you, you, don't, you are not noticing it, but there's coming warm wind out of here. So it really feels like there is some heat building up here. That's a nice feature. Okay, some nice music with it too. So obviously I'm now in the passenger seat, so I can film a little bit. My wife is driving. And here we have, of course, the big display. We're on the highway. Maybe it's good to see what the view is for navigation, because on the left side you see, and that's very nicely done with, um, with the cars driving by it really can identify the cars which are driving by and you will now see the the truck 
will be on the right here. Sometimes you see a little hiccup, so it, it needs to adjust. But when we see a truck coming by here on the right, you will also see that on the display. And it will give you warnings if you want to go to the right. Okay, so this is the feature summon for rijden in, 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 in Dutch. And then you can move your car with the app. It's kind of scary. If you are in a small parking space and you don't want to ruin the other cars, you can just enter and reverse and forward the car here. Now it's in reverse. And don't worry about hitting something else because the sensors will work and it will stay on the spot. So summon.